I'm glad that you're tuning in. My name is Miss Shayla Renee, and I am here in my witch's cabin, and I have tarot that I'm reading. I'm using a very wonderful deck this week. It's the Chrysalis Tarot, so you're going to be able to see that right there. And this is by Tony Brooks and Holly Sierra. Now, I love this particular um, artist, author, and illustrator because everything is so well designed the book is full of explanation and here's a, a very wonderful goodie that's in inside now a lot of decks you will not you will not find this in their their packaging but it's fun when you get it and so this one actually has a spreadsheet here i'll show that to you with um, information to help you understand how it's being aligned with your present and future. So I really love this about this particular author, what he's offered and what he shares with us and the illustrations that are provided by Holly. They are so gorgeous. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm going to be pulling cards for Monday through Friday, and then I am going to expound or give more detail on Tuesday's card so we can keep keep forward and abreast of how energy is switching and changing. Now, I already started pulling cards, so I'm going to give you uh, the first card. is the Psyche. This is the World card. Look at how gorgeous these cards are. They're so beautiful. Then there's the Sojourner. This is for Tuesday. The King of Mirrors, which is actually King of Cups. There you go. Very good. The third card is the Four of Spirals. This card showed up reverse. And in this case, the deck Spirals are considered the sword. Now, it shows up reversed. And I'm going to expound on that. Uh, traditionally, people have seen this card or uh, that um, element, um, the fire to be swords, and um, or fire to be um wands and uh, the air to be the sword in this case um we're going back to the old tradition prior to alistair crawley and if you'd like to learn more about why and how that changed the designations i would definitely be glad to share with you when i uh announce for the new class for this year um however in the meantime <laughs> This, um, the spirals being the sword, is an, um, definitely a fire card. Swords are created by fire. And so we're going to live with that, okay? And if you have any questions, you can definitely reach out to me. Okay, and so then there's the Thursday card. Oh, this came out reverse too. The Visionary Knight of Scrolls. So this is the Knight of Wands. There you go. So in this deck, scrolls are wands. And so that is definitely an, an air card. And for Friday, oh, this one showed up reverse as well. Ten of stones. So we're looking at ten of pentacles right here. Are these the most adorable cards? Oh, my gosh. You have to get a set. I have no endorsement, and if I could, I probably wouldn't. It wouldn't even make a difference. I, I promote these cards all day long. They're so gorgeous. So anyways, um, okay. So we're looking at today's energy. Let me see what I do with my glasses. Today's energy is the psyche, the world. So uh, since we're already in today's energy, we may just be able to reflect and see how um, much of what we're thinking about is, is expanded. And um, and we're open to uh, the possibilities. Possibilities of what? Whatever it is that you are deciding to create. You might find yourself being in that space where you're allowing life to just envelop you and to present to you what to work on. I like this card. Um, it's it's beautiful in the fact that she's transforming. She's trans. There's a transform formative. Um, uh, 
expression with a butterfly. She's looking out. And as she's looking out, you know, it's dark right there it's really dark so she doesn't she's she doesn't have any clue with how it's going to unfold but that it does right okay but tuesday's card is what we want to pay attention to today so i'm going to go ahead and put these cards away right here because we're going to focus on tuesday and the tuesday's card and I'm not reshuffling the cards. I'm not adding those back in because we are focusing on um, the pull for the week and then how the rest of the cards now support um, the energy that's happening. So it's, it's the King of Mirrors, King of Cups. That means you have, you're in charge of how you express yourself, the communication that you're giving, also, the things that you're feeling, right? Now, this is not the queen, so it's not emotional. It's a king. It's more practical. And so what's happening in your practical world? Um, that's definitely going to be about um, communication as to how things are evolving in your, in your world. Okay, so I'm going to pull the first card. Let's just see how this is unfolding. Oh, wow. Two of scrolls. Two of scrolls here. This is an air card. Two of scrolls. This is two of wands. Two of wands here. And it showed up reverse. So it showed up like that. The cards are so beautiful. And the second card I'm pulling to envelop or or move through, shift through the um through the king of cups is the six of mirrors. So we have six of cups. However, this card did show up reverse. Six of Cups. So we have um, a little bit of um, kind of some, some not trepidation, but just uh, there's opportunity to balance emotions and feelings. One is, uh, again, really, uh, it could be lower body expression and then really trying to evolve to lift up because the king is sitting right there having the opportunity to, to take take advantage and take hold of of a circumstance or situation so it doesn't get out of hand okay and then there's the eight of stones the eight of pentacles i like that because then whatever it is that you're doing it's becoming firmly rooted and grounded and it's something that's uh, allowing you to be able to move forward right so you have something to work with i'm going to pull an additional card and this is the seven of mirrors and it's reversed seven of cups reversed wow so we got some some interesting cards here so here we have the ten of uh, the king of mirrors king of cups he's in charge he's in charge of how he's feeling and what he's going to say he's picking his words carefully because he's literally you know he's he's not wanting to um disrupt his kingdom so what i'm going to say when i look at these cards right here um because mirror shows up a lot and, and one is being in control of what you you're thinking and saying specifically that you're saying and um it, you've got three cards that are mirrors so it's definitely about communication so there what i see is that um, tomorrow's energy, there'll be something of importance. There's no major arcana here in this deck, but it's just something that um, probably will need to be um, discussed. And you need to be discerning about how you are using your words. Because your words can, you know, it, it's a blessing and a curse all at the same time. We could do something to, you know, hurt somebody with our words. Um, so pick and choose your words wisely. You want to build on uh, making sure that whatever you're saying is uh, creating um, the best intentions um, uh, for, I'm going to say, yeah, the best intentions. Man, because I'm looking at this Eight of Stones. That's Eight of Pentacles. I know those that have read cards, the Eight of Pentacles is a... The man, he's sitting there and he's like, like hammering away, um, like a blacksmith on these stones. And so, um, there are good things to come. The eight can be karmic, but it also can be financial. 
And so whatever it is that you're doing, communicate well so that you're not losing, you're not, you're not speaking too rashly or quickly so that you don't lose what you're, what you're collecting. Because it's in a, it, even though this is not cups, it's pentacles, there is a cauldron there, which is it's like a cup, right? So you, you want to be, you, you don't want to speak too fast because whatever it's about, don't, don't rush to give, um, to make an excuse. Like don't make any excuses, um, for whatever it is that you have to talk about. And I don't see that as bad because the eight of stones is, uh, like the benefit that is the benefit. If you can watch what you say, how you say it, whatever the circumstances, it's going to work out for you. Um, two of scrolls right here. The scrolls again being, um, the scrolls are air, right? And it's reversed. So, um, yeah, it, you, you probably will discover something with someone that uh, two different ideas you might yeah two different ideas of being expressed about something you want to do or achieve and so I can't say you're not saying eye to eye about it but you may you may want to uh, hold on to what you're saying and how you're saying it so that you can actually benefit everybody for everyone to benefit right the pot is large so no one has to go without uh, that's what I'm going to say. No one has to, um, uh, yeah, no one has to, to be without whatever it is that they're trying to gain. There's something in it for everyone. So there's no loss here. Okay. But just be careful, be caring about how you express yourself. It doesn't have to be overwhelmingly aggressive and, um, yeah, it doesn't have to be overwhelmingly aggressive. I'm looking at the king, and he's a sojourner, but yet the six of uh, mirrors shows up. So you know it might be some imbalance in in the way that we might talk. And then here the seven of of mirrors is reversed again. So the seven and six is a thirteen. So it's definitely something important, but watch what you say, like how you reply. You don't always have to have the last word. That's probably the best thing that I want to say. You don't always have to have the last word. And in doing so, you're going to find it work out better for you. So just um, be discerning like the king. Be very practical. You don't have to lose it all verbally, right? You don't have to give in to these verbal um, um bantering back and forth, you know, you know, somebody says something and you got to reply back and, and then the other person says something, you have to say something back to, you know, let the person know that you're not going to run over me. It, it may just not be necessary so that, that you are able to achieve the end goal anyway, which is that everybody wins. So, and yes, everybody can win. It's really a perspective. Anyways, that's what I wanted to share because that's the way the cards came out today. And this is actually for tomorrow. So I, I just want to thank you. If you'd like a reading, you're definitely able to go to my website, Be Well. You'll see it right there at the tagline, BeWell.FYI. And book a private session. There you'll also get a clearing, clearing of emotional tag in the body. Thank you so very much for joining and stopping in to see me in the witch's cabin. I'll see you. Thank you.